Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a new Dead Frontier 2 video. This is going to be on the new update, world event. Really good update. Really, really good update. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. So anyway guys, let's get on with the video. Yo, how are we doing guys? So here it is, the world event update we've all been waiting for. Brilliant update. Again, Neil, you've smashed it like you did last time. It's a re really, really good update. The only thing I'd say is the reward. The money reward could do with being a little bit better. I'd say around 50% better. And the some of the some of the challenges are a bit tedious, like killing a hundred crows or killing a hundred zombies for the level 30 areas. I see, the one that I'm doing now, the event you can see me doing right now, is kill five spitter bosses, which was so much fun. If we could get more like this, it would be great. Like, it would be 10 out of 10 if we could get more like this. So, anyway, guys, how the update works is, if you look on the map, you'll see something like this. Here's a picture of the map. Yeah, you'll see at the bottom right hand corner, I've got my mouse over it. Every 20 minutes, these will disappear and they'll respawn in different locations. The only time you won't see them is in an outpost attack. That's it. Just before, just after, and why one's going off. But every 20 minutes, they'll refresh. So anyway, guys, I'm going to show you one of the events. This is killing five spitters. Really, like, the world event's really good. Just, it'd be so much better if we could get more like this. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. So there it is guys, that was me doing the five spitter event with a couple of randoms. It was, honestly it was a lot of fun, I'd love to see more like this, more challenging ones. Ones that are a lot more difficult, you could maybe have one where you have to kill one of every boss in the game, you know, you have to kill one spitter, one mother, one uh, titan, all the rest of them and all that, that'd be brilliant. Stuff like that, you know, kill like five titans, slash quote, Roid Hulk, whatever people want to call it these days, um, you know, like kill free bloody tendrils something like that that'd be pretty dope just stuff like this kind of difficult and you need more than one person or two people to do it so you can get groups of, like people talking and chat like yo rate good event rate good rewards you need like five people for it stuff like that but yeah other than that it's really good update really like it definitely brings a lot more to the game i'm really excited for the next up uh, next couple of updates when backpacks come and armor and stuff like that come. I think when they come to the game, that's when I'll probably start getting really back into it. And when these world events have had a bit of an update, but yeah, he's, do he's, he's doing such a good job with the game now, like really good job. But yeah, that was the world event update, anyway, guys. So I've actually got to give away, like for the people that have been still watching my YouTube videos and not on Dead Frontier 2 as well, you'll know I've been playing Outbreak New Dawn. I've also got a giveaway on Outbreak New Dawn. So before I end the video, we're just gonna have a look at that. Alright guys, so here is Outbreak New Dawn, there's a bit of gameplay from one of my live streams of me doing a free versus one fight. I'm at the police station in one of the main towns. So Outbreak New Dawn is a free to play, loot them and shoot them up game. So it's all about, you know, looting up, getting the best gear in the game and stuff like that. Going around fighting other players, fighting the undead and all in all, just having a fun time. Um, the game is currently in alpha, like I said it is free to play, there'll be a link in the description below. 
if you would like to try the game like i said it's completely free but there is supporter packs i have got five keys to give away which will give you a supporter back uh, supporter pack the supporter packs will give you a couple of starting items and more more inventory space in your global inventory for storing stuff now don't let that push her away like i said like i know some people think that's paid away and trust me it isn't you can get everything in the game you can do like your daily missions weekly missions um do missions for the traders to level up the traders to get like free cosmetics um for your weapons for uh your character and also increase your global inventory you can do that from your dailies weeklies and stuff like that so anything that you get from a support pack you can get in the game anyway like i said it's free to play so there's no harm in trying it out all you have to do to enter the giveaway to try and win is just say type in the comments below i downloaded outbreak that's all you have to type just comment on this video saying i downloaded outbreak and you'll be in for a chance to win there's five support packs to give away so good luck with that guys i hope this i hope you liked this video i know i've strayed a bit from dev frontier 2 so have a look at this but yeah so i'll catch you in the next one guys peace out